Thanks for clicking on this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Desmos to create multiple scatter plots at the same time. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create a single scatter plot. Now, I've linked the spreadsheet that I'm using in the descriptions down below, but if you have your own data that you want to use, go right ahead and follow along. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to select the January high temperature, the January low temperature, and the July high temperature. And I'm going to copy all three. Now, when I paste them into Desmos, here is what I get. <clears throat> now, Desmos kind of glitched a little bit because it says it zoomed, but there's data cut off. And as you can see, there's more up here. So sometimes Desmos will auto-zoom this, and sometimes it won't. And so you have to be wary about that. Because right here, there's no data that goes past 80. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to X and type 80 as my biggest number and type 0 as my smallest number. In fact, I can even go lower than that. I can go higher than that. 20. There's no data that goes lower than 20. And so here I've got on the, on the X axis, I've got January high temperature. But on the Y axis, I have two different things. I have... January low temperature and January and July high temperature. So all I can say is temperature for my labels. Now I can change color. And now I'll keep that as blue. That makes sense. But over here for July, I'll make that red. Now I can not only change the color, but I can also change the shape in case you have viewers who are colorblind and can't see the difference. You can change the shape and then they can clearly differentiate that this right here are all the July temperatures and up here these are the January low temperatures. Thanks for watching. If you like the video hit that like button and if you want to see more click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remember the best way to understand something is to do it.